Hello, and welcome to this video. In this tutorial, we're going to add a snow effect on top of these rocks, and basically blend two different materials on a single mesh. The great part is that we can adjust everything in real time, such as the intensity of the snow, the coverage area, the texture scale, and even the angle of the effect. And at the end, We'll also add a switch to toggle between a snow material and a grass material. Also, don't forget, the project zip file is always available in the description. So if you can't get the same result as me, you can download it and check what went wrong. First, let's create a material parameter collection. In the Scalar Parameters section, add three indexes. The first one, name it Normal Blend Bias. The second one, call it Normal Blend Sharpness. And the third one is UVs, which will control the texture tiling. Set its default value to 1. Now, in the Vector Parameters section, add one parameter for the angle of the blended material. Name this one Normal Offset. Next, create a Material function. For the output, connect a World Aligned Blend node. Now, for the first input of this node, create a function input. And name it explicit normal. For the world vector input, do the following. First, create an add node. For input A, add a constant 3 vector and set its color to blue. For input B, add a collection parameter. Set the MPC we created earlier, and for the parameter name, use normal offset. But since it gives you an error, you'll need to add a mask node between them. Enable the R, G, and B channels on this mask. Now for the Blend Sharpness, duplicate the Collection Parameter node. Change its parameter name to Normal Blend Sharpness. Next, for the Blend Bias. Again, duplicate the Collection Parameter node. This time, set the parameter name to Normal Blend Bias. Now we need another Material function for the material that we want to blend with our mesh. In this case, I'll create a Snow Material function. The snow texture I'm using here is downloaded from Quixel, so just follow along with the video. For the UVs of the texture, add a Multiply node. For input A, connect a Texture Coordinate node. For input B, add a Collection Parameter node. Set the parameter name to UVs Snow. This is the same third scalar parameter we created earlier. The default value should be set to 1. Now, open the material that you want to edit. Since I am using Quixel Megascans meshes, they already come with a master material. So when I connect everything to the output node of that master material, 
everything works perfectly. Add a Blend Material Attributes node and connect it to the output. For input A, use the material of the mesh itself. For input B, connect the material function we just created. For the alpha, connect the height-based blending function we made earlier. And finally, plug in your normal map blend function to the blend normal input. That's it. Now you can open the material parameter collection and adjust all the values in real time. To wrap up, in the rest of this video, I also created another material function for grass. And inside the master material, I added a switch so I can toggle between snow and grass. I won't go into detail here, but you can simply follow along in the video. Thanks for watching until the end.